Hey guys, so today I have the Cirque Colors Facets 2 collection. So there are six new polishes to the Facets collection and then six reformulated polishes for the Facets collection. So 12 technically all together here. So these are available right now. So I will link the Cirque website down below and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is Rose Quartz and this is a very, very light kind of nudie pink, almost crelly-ish looking base with a ton of silver holographic flakes. So this one is pretty sheer on that first coat. It is going to take three to build up. The base looks very crelly in the bottle, but it definitely comes off more jelly on the nails. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have a lot of dark staining uh, under my nails and around, on the skin around my nails from swatches that I did this morning. So hopefully that kind of wears off as I remove these ones. So this one is still a bit sheer on that second coat. It's building up okay, but it's still pretty sheer. I do have a bit of nail line showing still. This one also dries a bit dull, so you will want top coat, but those flakies that are in there will dry fairly smooth. I have had a couple that have been like a little bit weird and stuck up, but they're not going to need to be scrubbed off like a glitter. So this one does cover completely for me in three coats. I do think if you have a very white nail line though, you might not get it fully opaque in three. But the plus side of that is that there is a lot of that holographic shimmer in there that does help distract from it. But it's all going to depend on what your nails look like, how obvious the nail line is. So that is three coats of Rose Quartz. The next polish is called Pad Paradsha, and this is a lighter, kind of like slightly pinkish red with those silver holographic little tiny flakes. So this one is also in a jelly base, so it is a bit sheer on the first coat, but definitely not as sheer as Rose Quartz. And a ton of flakies in this one as well and good formula on this one also. So this one is also starting to build up on that second coat, but I can still see my nail line. So this will need a third. And I don't know if you can see all of, oh, probably not. I have a lot of those little flakies stuck to the skin around my nails. You will have that issue when you remove it. You shouldn't have to scrub any of them off, but they will probably stick to the skin. So this one does cover completely for me in three coats. But this is another one where I think if you have a lot of length or a very white nail line or both, you're probably still going to be able to see your nail line after three. And you can see that that third coat does deepen the color a bit as well. So that is three coats of Pad Paracha. The next polish is Ruby, and this is a deeper red with those holographic flakes. So this one is also a bit jellyish on that first coat, but more opaque than the last one. It is a darker color a ton of flakies in here and the darker the color it is the better you're going to see the flakies also I apologize for my voice it's a little raspy today and uh, it's almost noon so I don't really know why and good formula on this one as well I feel fine but I sound like I'm getting sick so this one does cover completely for me on two coats you might need three depending on your application but I don't think it's super likely and this one also dries dull, so you will want top coat. If I remember correctly, they all dry pretty dull. So that is two coats of Ruby. The next polish is called Zircon, and this is a kind of medium blue with a ton of those holographic flakes. So this one is also sheer on that first coat. Not terribly sheer, it should build up okay. And a good formula on this one as well. I probably haven't been mentioning formulas as much, I don't think, in this video. But they're pretty much the same across the board. I haven't had any issues with them. So this one builds up pretty well on that second coat. I'm going to take a good look at it to determine. I can still see not a ton of nail line, but enough that I want to do a third coat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And hopefully you can see, again, this one, like the other ones, does dry a bit dull. So this one does cover completely for me in two coats, three coats, whoops. This one's weird. It's hard to say with this one if you would have nail line still after three if you had very white nails. I don't think so, but I think it's possible. I just don't think it's very likely. You can see that third coat does deepen the color a bit as well. So that is three coats of Zircon. The next polish is emerald, and this is an emerald green with those holographic flakes. So this one is also a bit sheer on that first coat. It is a jelly like all the others. Not terrible though. And good formula on this one as well. 
So this one is building up on that second coat, but I can still see some nail line. You can see the color is deepening quite a bit as well. And this is drying dull. Like I said, they all dry dull. So this one does cover completely for me in three coats. And that third coat does make the color just a little bit deeper as well. And again, you will want top coat, and this does dry fairly smooth. I don't think I have any to show you, but every once in a while I do get uh, a flaky that's like kind of weird and wants to stick up and be a little bit textured. So that is three coats of emerald. And the last polish for the new colors before I move into the re-released colors is sapphire, and this is a really, really dark blue with those holographic flakes. So this one is still a jelly, but it is pretty opaque on that first coat because it is such a dark color. And with a color this dark, those holographic flakes are going to stand out the most. And good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats, and this is a really solid two-coater. And it does dry very dull, so you will definitely want top coat to give it that shine. I don't know if you can see that little speck right there on my pinky finger. That's what I mean about the like the extent. That's really hard to show you, but that's the extent of how those flakies can stick up. Nothing terrible, but they can stick up a bit. And keep in mind, this coat is still pretty wet too, so it's going to stick up a little bit more after it's completely dry. It's not so much that like a thick top coat wouldn't cover it, but it can be there. And I did have it in probably about half the polishes over the course of my swatches, so it's fairly common. So that is two coats of sapphire. So the next six polishes are reformulated versions of previous releases. This first one is Morganite, and this is, again, those holographic flakes, little tiny holographic flakes, in a kind of pinkish jelly base, which is like kind of the same description I would give Rose Quartz. So I'll put these two together so you can see how Rose Quartz has much more of a crelly-ish looking base. And... It's hard to say if they're the same amount of flakies or not. Obviously, looking at it, you're going to say that Morganite has way more flakies to it, which I still think it probably does, but with a curly base like this, it can also make them look a little less dense. But I'm going to go ahead and assume that Morganite has more flakies to it, which is where you're going to get your coverage out of the flakies and not so much out of the base. So there is one coat, and you can see that it is very sheer. It is absolutely packed with those flakes, and what I was saying about getting more coverage out of the flakes in the base is just that there are a ton more flakies in here that are going to cover your nail, and then the base, the jelly-tinted base, is just going to give the whole polish that pinkish tint once it's opaque. And a good formula on this one as well. So this one is starting to build up on the second coat, but you can still see a good amount of nail line through it. So I will do a third. This one also looks like it does dry a bit dull. And like all the other ones, those flakies are not going to be textured quite like a glitter. Like I've said like five times already, you will get a few that might stick up a little bit, but it's not going to feel like a glitter. So this one it does cover pretty well on three coats. If you're really, really looking for it, you could probably pick some nail line out in that third coat, but there are so many flakies and so much like holographic going on that it does really distract your eyes from it. You have to like really look for it. So that is three coats of Morganite. The next reformulated polish is called Periba, and which I'm probably like butchering, and that is a teal, it's like a, I don't know, it's a green, it's like more leaning green than I would consider a teal, but like teal I think is the closest I can get to describing it, with a bunch of holographic flakes. And this one is in a jelly-ish base as well, so it is a bit sheer on that first coat, but really not terrible. The base is pretty saturated. And again, a ton of those flakes, and good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely for me in two coats, but I will say it is really close to needing a third for me, so if you have more, I say this all the time, if you have a whiter nail line than I do, you'll probably need a third coat for this one to cover completely. And you will definitely want top coat because it does dry dull. So that is two coats of Periiba. So that is two. The next polish is called Dioptase, and this is a really dark teal with all those holographic flakes. 
So this one is another one that's in a jelly base, but it is a pretty saturated jelly base. Again, a good amount of flakies. I almost feel like these reformulated ones don't have the same kind of, I could be totally making this up, but I feel like they don't have the same amount, like kind of flakies that are in the new six polishes because I haven't had any of these ones stick up on me yet. I haven't had any like, you know, goofy, rebellious flakies that want to stick up with these reformulated ones. Oh, you know what? No, never mind. Look, there's one right there. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And this is a pretty solid two coat or two. The base was pretty opaque on that first coat, so it did build up really well. And another one that dries dull, so you will definitely want top coat. So that is two coats of Dioptase. The next polish is a deep red with those holographic flakes, and this one is called Garnet. Here is Garnet over here next to Ruby, so you can see the difference. So this one, there's a cotton ball fuzzy. This one, again, is pretty opaque on that first coat. It's in a jelly base, but it's looking real good. And good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats, and it is another one that's a pretty solid two-coater. And you can see that color does get quite a bit deeper. And another one that does dry dull, so you will definitely want top coat. And I feel like, maybe it's because it's a darker color, but I feel like after this one dried, I couldn't like, like if I put my finger on it, I can feel a little bit of texture. It's not obviously not going to be as bad as a glitter, but I feel like I could really see it in this one. And it's got to be because it's a darker color, but I've had a couple other darker colors too. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Either way, you're going to want top coat for that as well. So that is two coats of Garnet. The next polish is called Tanzanite, and this is a kind of royal blue with those holographic flakes. So this one is, again, a jelly base like all the other ones. It's a little more sheer than the last one was on the first coat, but it's okay. I still think it should cover fine in two. And like all the other ones, good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And I'd say it's a pretty solid two-coater as well. And obviously it does dry very dull, so you will want top coat. And again, just slightly gritty from those flakes. So that is two coats of Tanzanite. And the last polish is Smoky Quartz, and this is a black jelly base with those holographic flakes. So this is a jelly, so it is a bit sheer on the first coat, but it is pretty opaque for a jelly. Not that that's super surprising, because it is black. And a good formula on this one as well. So this one does cover completely in two coats. And if my last two coats have been a little bit goofy... Nope, not on the table. There's a cat on my lap. Now there's a cat on my table. You gotta move. And this is another one that does dry dull. So that is two coats of Smoky Quartz. So how predictable is it for me to pick the blue? Zircon is going to be my favorite. I really, really like this shade of blue. It looks fantastic with those little holographic flakies mixed in. So this one is a winner for me. So that is the Cirque Facets 2 collection. Again, those are available right now. So I will link that website down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.